I've come to learn that Avery is from an only mother household. I have to say, I'm pretty disappointed by hearing about this. <laughs> hmm? Andrea? Are you sure you're not confusing me with someone else right now? Why would you think that? <laughs> you're Avery's mom, right? Kelly or something like that? Well, I just never assumed that you'd contact me out of the blue saying things like that. And yes, Avery comes from a single mother household. But what does that have to do with you? Recently, when I came over to meet you, I was surprised. Not even you seem to care that much about your own situation, and I was really left wondering about you. Having a single mother household is really uncool, you know. <laughs> I was wondering why nobody had ever talked about you both living that way, and I finally had to end up learning about it. <laughs> uncool? Andrea, I'm sorry. I really don't have a clue what you're trying to say to me. If you don't get to the point here, I'll never be able to understand you. Of course you don't understand me, do you? The fact that Avery only had a single parent growing up that raised him is way uncool. And it's fair to say that you'll never be able to realize just how uncool the both of you really are. <laughs> Andrea, are you talking down to me right now? Well, I wouldn't say that I'm talking down to you in any sense, but... <laughs> Maybe I am, actually. <laughs> a person like you as Avery's mother is not what I wanted to see. <laughs> and why are you acting like this right now? Is there even a good reason for you going out of your way today to text me about this? You could say the good reason is to keep you in check, I guess. Keep me in check? For what reason, though? If you really want your son to end up becoming happy with me, please don't come to our wedding, okay? LOL. Huh? I think that the both of us don't want anyone else knowing that you've been his single mother this whole time, right? LOL. If you don't show up, we can just say that his parents weren't able to make it, and we'll leave it at that. But if you did come and had no man to accompany you, then everyone would know the truth, lol. Even if other people learn about me, it's the truth and there's nothing anyone can do about it. And I'd like to know what's wrong about raising my son in a single parent household. I made sure to raise Avery into my perfect little man. I never said there was anything wrong with Avery. I'm only saying there's something wrong with you, lol. With me? You ended up getting thrown away by your husband, and now you'll turn into a lonely and old grandma because of it. Don't you feel that by coming to our wedding, you could curse the two of us or something? If you really want to care about the two of us, stay away from the wedding, please. You can look through the window or something, but just don't come inside the building. <laughs> what are you talking about? I was thrown out by my husband? Have you never even talked with Avery about any of this? This is going to be Avery and my wedding, so I'd like for you to listen to what I want. And one other thing, don't say anything to Avery that could cause any one of us to regret this, okay? If you end up having him lose trust in me or something, I will never, ever forgive you. If you're praying for your son to end up happy, you have to pray for my happiness as well, right? But don't you feel that all of this is asking way too much from me? I have every single right as Avery's mom to come and see him get married on his very special day. Well, I have nothing else to say to you. Please and thank you, Kelly. And make sure you don't say anything stupid to Avery. You have to make sure that the two of us can remain happy together forever. Say anything stupid? What am I supposed to say then? <coughs> Avery... Have you not spoken to Andrea at all about our situation? About what happened with your dad and about this family? When you say dad, what do you mean? Of course I told her about him. And everything I could about him at least. What's going on with you, mom? Well, if you've told her about him, that's a start. But I think she's misunderstood something you brought up to her. Misunderstood something about dad? 
It doesn't really matter. I'm just glad that you did, in fact, talk to her. By the way, how have things been going with wedding preparations? Are you making it by all right? I'm aware that you also have to keep up with work while preparing, but just know that you can take a break whenever you need one. I'm fine, Mom. I've been doing pretty well, actually, with everything. Are you and Andrea working well together to get everything worked out? Actually, Andrea really hasn't done anything to help. What? But this is the wedding for the two of you, right? Seems that Andrea is preoccupied with a couple other things right now. She goes home to her parents all the time and has various things happen over there. Is that so? When I had last talked with her parents and everything, they didn't make it seem like they were all that busy. Is that so? Well, recently it just seems that Andrea has become really busy. I haven't really had time to worry about what she's been up to. But maybe it's time I checked in with her about it. Well, she is going to become your wife, right? The both of you are going to be living life together from now on, so it's best that you talk with her whenever you can. Now that you mention it, there is something that's been on my mind. What's that been? I shouldn't really have to be thinking about this at all, but you're still not planning to come to the wedding today, right? <laughs> huh? Of course I plan on coming to my son's wedding. Well, if that's going to be the case, then I'll let the front know not to let you in, lol. Excuse me? That's not something you should be telling them on the day of the wedding, right? Didn't I tell you this already before, though? I get that it's hard for you to understand me. To be straightforward, having the mother of a single mother household is too embarrassing for me, so don't come to this wedding. I see that you think you can tell me what to do as though you have some control over me or something. But do you not see what you're asking for right now? I know very well what I want, lol. I want to make sure that everyone ends up happy. And to make that possible, I have to get you as far away from us today as possible. I want to make sure that Avery can enjoy today without the embarrassment of a single and old mom in the room. I bet that a woman like you is trying to bleed your son dry of all of his money, right? I really hate the thought of that, so I think I'll have us cut ties with you as well. <laughs> you're even going as far as to tell me that now? You really have little clue of what you're talking about. About what, lol? If you want to make sure that the two of us have a wonderful life together, you have to sacrifice any connections you have to us, right? A wonderful life, huh? You're saying that me not coming to the wedding will help Avery become happy and have a wonderful life. That's what I'm saying, lol. I'm aware that Avery has never told you this, but I think he really sees you as a strain on his image. And so, a poor and selfish grandma doesn't need to be here today. <laughs> we can just keep the fact that you raised him all by yourself as a secret between us. So if you really care about your son and daughter-in-law, then don't come to our wedding. Understood. I won't go. And I'd like for you to cut ties with us as well. <laughs> I no longer want to hear anything from or see you ever again. Well, up until now, I've never once been the one to contact you. It's always been you contacting me to ask about things or make rude remarks. Well, from now on, I don't want you texting or calling your son either. I just want to make sure you enjoy suffering as a lonely woman all the way until you keel over. <laughs> now, I'm going to get ready to enjoy my wedding. Have fun, Andrea. I will do as you wish and stay away from that wedding for you. But I'm sure you'll soon see that me not being there will result in a few problems for you. But if that's what you want from me, then I have no choice. Now, I'll be going. You plan on coming to the wedding, right? Huh? What are you talking about now? I told you that I'm doing as you wanted and I'm not coming to that wedding anymore. That should be good enough for you, right? Now goodbye. But that's going to screw me! I want to call you right now, so please answer this time! And please come here and attend our wedding! You told me again and again to make sure to never come to that wedding. So why have you had a change of heart? 
I'm having a really hard time understanding you now, even more than I did before. It looks like my parents are going to get really upset with me if you don't come here. Really? I'm not really sure myself, but when I said that you might not make it today, they got all worked up. I suppose that would happen. Huh? What do you mean? When they learned that I raised a powerful man like my son all by myself, they felt as though I deserved to be happy myself for all my hard work. So they planned to have me at this wedding today to show me that my son would be marrying a supposedly amazing woman like their daughter. And what's even more surprising is the fact that because my son is doing so well for himself, he's become a customer of your family's company. But you ended up telling the mother that raised such an amazing man to stay away from his own wedding. I'd assume that if the wedding gets canceled, that wouldn't be too out of the ordinary, right? They respect you? Why? I knew that my dad's company works with Avery as he's one of the company's customers and all, but... Well, I was able to make him into such a respectful and hardworking young man all by myself. And because of that, your parents really respect me for everything I had to sacrifice for Avery. Even Avery really respects me for what I did. And I'm so lucky that he's always there to tell me that. You're the only one that seems to differ, though. You seem to think that because I was a single mother, it's okay to make fun of me. You even went as far as to ask me to stay away from the wedding and to cut ties with you after all. That's what they're thinking about? Well, I've been thinking about what'll happen after we get married. I know that for the two of us to become happy, we no longer need you around. And that's the selfish idea you've stuck with, correct? What makes Avery happy is his choice. And I know dang well that to him, he'd never think of cutting ties with me to make himself happy. I think that your ego is getting in the way of everything, especially your marriage. But... In reality, all you care about is the fact that the money you plan to use will go away if he stays in touch with me, correct? You don't like the idea of that, do you? Huh? You hate thinking about the thought of me one day asking him for all his money as I get older, right? And that's why you decided that the only way to fix your problem of having me around is to get rid of me as soon as possible. Um, that's not exactly... And it looks as though you thought getting rid of me would be easy. But you don't have the permission of either your own parents or my son in doing something as self-centered as that. Have you been unaware this whole time of the fact that your parents and Avery like me and want to respect me? I think you should start looking at life through a clear set of eyes. Ones that aren't obstructed by your selfishness. Well, I never knew something like this could happen. Avery has been looking around for you to see where you're at and wants you back here right now. I'm not going there now. You wanted me out of the place. Huh? So you're really not coming to see our wedding? Of course. Why don't you take a little responsibility for what you asked for? And another thing before we're done here. I know that you've been making fun of me as if my husband had left me long ago and had me take Avery from him as well. But really... All that happened was my husband passing away. Avery told me that he told you all about what happened, but it seems you didn't listen to him, right? I didn't know about that. I guess I might not have heard him. That's right. I asked Avery about this. He tells me that every so often you seem to go into a world of your own. Why's that? Huh? I don't have a world of my own. What if I told you that I know the reason why? What do you want to say to me? Up until now, Avery and I have worked together to make sure that the both of us survived. But Avery and I never thought I'd be asked to stay away from the wedding. When I told him about that, he said he had something on his mind regarding you. I'm back here right now, please. Can you please not tell him about any of this? I understand now that you're freaking out and would love for me to be there, but I'm through with you. I cannot be asked to come to a wedding for someone as irresponsible as you. And to make sure you pay for everything you've said to me, I'm going to let them all know. I've let them all know about how you've been cheating on my son. Huh? What are you talking about, Kelly? There's no way I'd ever do that. Stop saying things like that to me. You might have thought nobody knew about what you were doing, but I made sure to do some research on you. On me? I had wanted my son to end up being happy with you, and so I wasn't going to look into anything. 
But now that I have, and after the ways you've treated me, I have to say that I do not agree with this wedding, and so that's why I'm not going. Of course I'm planning on telling Avery about you cheating on him, and I hope that means he'll take action against you, like getting a settlement. I'm sure your parents are tired of you as well, right? Wait, please, Kelly. You're going way too far now. Don't you feel like you've done enough to me already? Please, just come to the wedding and just forget about anything that's happened between us. I just want for this wedding to get back on track and for your son and I to be happy. Can we act like none of this has ever happened? Andrea, you can't take back everything you've said to me now. And now you're going to have to live with the regrets of all the actions you've taken until now. I can see that you both won't be married anymore, so good job. Next time, you should try a little better at gaining everyone's respect. At least this time you didn't have to have some moneyless grandma at your wedding, right? Well, it doesn't matter, because your wedding has gone to crap anyway, lol. <coughs> and just after I had finished talking with Andrea, I let my son know about what was going on, and he canceled the whole wedding. And it seems after that, they even said goodbye to any chance of getting married. Then, once both her parents realized what had happened, they expressed their clear disappointment in her and said for her to never come back to their house. Andrea anticipated getting married to Avery and moving in with him, so she had already quit her job. But now she realizes she's going to be without any money and went into an extreme panic. And as for the man she was with behind Avery's back, he learned she had no more money and threw her away as well. And so, in the end, Andrea lost everything due to her selfishness. I'd say this is a great case of her getting what she asked for, and I hope that the next time she finds a man to marry, she acts a bit wiser about how she treats their parents. Well, that's if there is another man, lol. <laughs>